What's going on guys? Tweaking Timber Outdoors here with another video for you. Really quickly, I'm gonna go fishing here. It is very warm out, but I just kinda wanna show you what I use when I fish small streams here in New York. Um, it's not gonna be anything revolutionary today. I just wanna show you that simplicity is sometimes really nice, and even some people would consider this to be overkill. So, I really like chest rigs because, well, I've had sling packs before. They just kind of sling all over the place because I don't, I've never had one with like the three buckle tier system thing. So I wouldn't mind trying one of those out. I just don't have one. Um, this time of year, I do wear waders, even small stream. I roll them down because I'm afraid of getting ticks, which is also, a, you know, a situation we have. But uh, besides the waders or really long boots and, high, and, and pants and things, make sure you're protected. Um, I'm just going to go through what I usually bring on the stream with me. So... Uh, first and foremost is uh, the boxes I typically bring. I have Epic Creek boxes, um, and I do carry a lot of tippet and stuff. This is, I have to revamp this because I've actually got a couple different cards that I'm going to put in for today because uh, I'm not going to be throwing big streamers. Uh, we're actually going to go to a small little uh, meadow stream where uh, we potentially could see some hatches, so I'm going to swap out my dries. Um, this is the uh, chest pack. This is 20 bucks. It's a Micro Bear Creek uh, by uh, Allen, Allen Company. I've got a tippet ranging from typically in small, small streams like uh, 3x, 4x, 5x. Uh, I do carry some fluorocarbon with me too, depending on how clear the water is and how, you know, situational dependencies I will change what I bring. I have some nippers, no big deal. I have some forceps, or forcep, some hemos. Um, uh, these ones are nice, they're the Umpqua ones, they allow you to do some spin uh, knot ties and stuff, they're pretty nice. Um, then, uh, what else? Um, uh, lots of sunblock, uh, polarized glasses. Uh, I swap out my polarized glasses just because, uh, depending on what's comfortable that day. I know that sounds really stupid, but um, we got some different boxes in here. Got to take my streamer box out. Uh, here's, my, here's a dry fly box, it's a really cheap one uh, that I'm... Uh, Actually working my way through, carries most of my deer hair, most of my caddis imitations, a couple of mayfly imitations, and then some bigger bugs like hoppers and stuff, which we'll see if they work today. Then I also carry micro split, uh, measuring grains. This is uh, Umqua. Uh, I really like the stuff. I like that there's no tag end. It, some people, it annoys some people with uh, not being able to take the, the shot off because there's no tail to it. But if you're going to take t split off of a... Um, off of a leader anyway, you're probably damaging the leader by putting the split on there, so it's really kind of beneficial to just change the tippet or the leader out after you do that. And I actually carry two of those with me. I have my little book here for what worked and what didn't, uh, talk about different um, locations and things. Uh, this is completely 100% waterproof. It's called, I don't, I don't have any affiliation right in the rain. Um, I also carry a mechanical pencil with me and then I just note down some substantial things unless of course only one fly was working or whatever then I'll just note that in here. Uh, so what else? I rarely use thingamabobbers and small streams because uh, you can sight fish. It looks like I have a uh, Little box of flies I have to take care of in here. Uh, some random flies, a couple liters, nothing crazy. In fact, probably should take care of this. Look at this. I, I'm not super organized, but you can tell that, uh, you know, just despite being organized, we do some good things. Um, the rods that I carry with me, typically I will have a dry fly rod, which is my riffle, which is a three, four weight. Uh, I err on the side of lining it with a four weight line because that way it loads at shorter distances. Um, and that is a, what is it, an eight foot, four weight, three, four weight, um, lined with four weight line. Uh, that is also fishing, sir. And then I also have a nymphing stick, um, uh, which is a wet fly um, uh, element two, which is awesome. Um, and I carry just two rods with me. I know some people, you don't even have to do that, but I'm very picky about the types of nymphing rigs I like to use. So, um, Nymphing is kind of, your own nymphing uh, requires something a little different for me. And rather than swap out leader and take the time to do that, I just switch rods. So uh, take that with a grain of salt. But the waders I wear, I wear Allen um, uh, Guide Series waders. They're awesome. I've had them for the same pair for like four years and put them through the ringer and back and without an issue. So that's what my normal rig looks like. Uh, hopefully you guys, uh, you know, 
What I'd like to know down in the description in the comments below, or not the description in the comments, what your rigs look like for small streams, if you fish small streams. Uh, what I bring on the boat is a very different. What I bring to the steelhead stream is very different. This is just for small stream trout, brookies, browns, you know, anything that I'm going to be moving a lot, hiking a lot. Um, you know, if you guys have any questions, please put them in the comments below. I'd like to know, though, what your rig looks like. List out your stuff. I'd love to know, um, you know, what you find to be super crucial and beneficial that you need uh, versus what you can basically live without. Um, in addition to all this, I obviously bring my camera and some other stuff, but that's it. All right, let me know what you guys think. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Check through the videos in the playlist, the other different uh, instructionals that I give, or even just commentaries that I give. Check out my book that's in the description below. I have two. One of them is in how to guide to fly fishing for beginners and intermediates. It's called Beyond the Cane. Um, it's no nonsense, goes right into it anecdotally, and it's a lot of fun. And uh, make sure you guys check out some of the other discounts and things in the description below. Catch you guys on the flip side, tight lines, and we're out.